All right, guys, so here's the update on the truck. Um, they emailed me this morning, let me know what was going on with the truck. So um, before I open up what was going on, as you can see right here, I told them, let's go ahead and get it fixed and let me know when the truck is ready for, to be picked up. So pretty much um, this is what I, what I brought the truck in for. Uh, jerks and squeals while driving and it idle. The idle is rough and the issue has gotten worse. Um, they're saying the cause of it is a Delta P sensor and was not able to clear it out the restriction. So the corrections it said went out to unit and found fault code for the EGR flow target. Error was diagnosed, the high flow and whatever that is for engine crankcase breather, oil separator speed. Pretty much, pretty much saying that I need to replace some EGR lines, EGR sensor kit, oil separator, uh, seal metal, and then they also charge the $95 for the computer diagnostics. So um, prices of everything is over here. Um, the most expensive thing was the oil separator, $315. So um, the total and parts is only $500 in parts. The labor, they're pretty much charging almost $1,500. And so we're looking at $22.34.87. Um, pretty much to get the truck fixed, this is the lease truck. So um, I went ahead and I already told them, let's go ahead and get it done. And um, that's it. So that's what was going on, some EGR issues, um, emission stuff, right? Nothing I can do about it. So um, I'm hoping, so more than likely by Monday, I should be back on the road with the lease truck. And um, yeah, we're gonna keep it moving. Um, check, drive it out for two more weeks. If everything goes good, we'll be putting a driver in it. All right. So then an update on Big Daddy. I've uh, ordered, I've went and picked up my parts that's supposed to be getting installed tomorrow. So back here, we got a brand new starter, brand new water pump, brand new alternator, got a brand new fuel pump. The, um, call these damn things, the um, thermostats. And then I also got all the belts. So um, it's typically five belts, but the new updated belt is this thicker one right here. So it's a one belt, but it, it has, um, you know, it pretty much does the two. So it has two different, has two grooves in there. Hoping y'all can see that. So um, once we get these parts installed on Big Daddy, I will then be taking Big Daddy to the same shop that the guy that's going to come out and put everything on at. And then we're going to get it PM'd. We're going to get the diff fluids um, changed out. Um, you know, pretty much everything looked over. And then um, after that, we will be driving Big Daddy to the drop lot where the trailer is at. And we will be picking up the trailer and taking the truck to get it. Or we might have the DOT done on the, on the, tra on the truck at the same place that's going to install these parts right here. Um, also got some gasket maker, some gasket maker, gasket maker, excuse me. So, um, yeah. Um, after I install all this, we should be ready to go. To be honest with you, none of this was actually needed. I didn't need, um, there was, there's nothing wrong with the starter on the truck. There's nothing wrong with the alternator, nothing wrong with the water pump. Um, fuel pump is leaking and it has been for some time. I didn't know what it was until I did my research to find out. So fuel pump only costs a little, um, no, I think it's like three, two something for the fuel pump. So in total for all these parts right here, I spent right around $2,000 for these parts. And then to get everything installed, it's probably gonna be another thousand or fifteen hundred. Um, I can install the starter myself. I can install the alternator myself. I can install the belts myself. I can install the fuel pump myself. For y'all that don't know about the 60 series, the fuel pump is actually on the back of the air compressor. So um, I was actually gonna get an air compressor as well. Um, air compressor is not going out or bad or anything. And um, they was like, yeah, the air compressor is over a thousand dollars. I'm like. Oh, I just spent 2k. Let me go ahead and wait for a little bit. Let the truck make me some money back, and then I'll just start changing parts. So yeah, I am one of those guys. I will throw parts at it. Help me have an ease of mind. I know some guys say don't fix it if it ain't broke. Um, me personally, just gives, I rather have an ease of mind. You know, um, if I know the water pump is changed, if I know the alternator is changed, batteries blah 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 change. You know, I feel that much more confident in my truck, and then actually stepping out my comfort zone as far as driving the truck further and further out. If I know everything is changed out, because my, my original plan was to change everything on the external motor, so that's what I'm doing. So yep, this is where we're at. And then, like I said, after this stuff get installed tomorrow, um, more than likely the lease trucks will probably be ready by Friday or Saturday, is what I'm assuming. And then, like I said, we'll probably hit, we'll hit the road Monday, and then um, 
Like I said, all this stuff should hopefully be installed. This one do the PM, the diff fluids. I've already told y'all about it. I got the rears, the drives already installed. Um, still waiting for my guy to get back to me on my steers. Um, going with Yokohama steers. Yeah, going with Yokohama steers. And um, yeah, so we got everything ready to go for a big daddy. As far as, you know, motor wise, still haven't done anything about the interior yet. As far as like seats or, or um, you know, the flooring or anything. But we'll get to it when the time comes. Um, like I said, at this point, I'm ready to get in Big Daddy and just drive. So, um, yeah, that's that. Update on this truck. Cost about 2300 to get it fixed. Totally go ahead and fix it. I'll pay it and we'll get it back rolling. Big Daddy, we got some parts right here ready to go. Trailer is still parked at the drop lot. Um, everything is ready to go on the trailer. You know, I can pretty much just hook up, load up, and go. And that's what I'm I'm, um, I'm I'm waiting for. I'm getting ready for. So I appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, stay tuned. Cause um, pretty much this is it right here for Big Daddy. Once we get these parts installed, we'll do some minor other stuff. And like I said, I am gonna get an overhead adjustment done on it as well. Uh, we're hitting the road with it. All right. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And if you are in the Houston area, you have at least eight to ten months of experience. You got your hazmat and tanker. You're looking for a job where you can be home every weekend. Hit me up. Um, only out of Houston. Um, like I said, you must meet them qualifications. If you don't have it, hey, don't waste, let's not waste each other's time because I'm strict on what I'm looking for. But until then, guys, I'll catch you another one.